Hey guys, welcome back. This is an update for the OnePlus 5T users. And we have got a new OT update 4.7.6, which brings some uh, good improvement. So uh, let me show you how it works, how you can install it. So as always, you have to go to the Opera VPN. Make sure to connect to the Jeremy in Canada in case you wanted to get an update faster. Otherwise, you may get uh, in few days from now. So once you are connected, you have to just go to the setting and you can see there should be some notification by itself. Otherwise, system update. Once you check for update, you can see there is an update now it brings couple of the uh, new fixes and actually guys i'm getting some breathing problem it's so much pollution here and i have to turn off my purifier so really sorry for that if i show you some hard feelings here i'm really trying to improve on those things anyway camera so we got some uh, stability improvement in the, onto the camera so it's not new feature it's maybe it should work faster something like that nothing more than that clarity improvement for the selfie in the low light so we should be doing some testing so uh, before update i will take some selfies and i will try to create the same situation same lighting effect then we'll see how much improvement do we got there or not performance improvement for third party camera application so this means if you are using some other camera applications like the open camera camera max google camera any camera applications uh, except the default oneplus camera application so you should not be expecting quality improvement it is performance improvement that means uh, it may work faster it won't crash something like that you know something maybe they have uh, done some changes by sharing apis internally camera apis to those them now on the system side there is a added assistive lighting for the face unlock now i i haven't updated that i have not seen what are those changes but i will tell you i'm just guessing what is that you know for example this face id and the galaxy s8 uh, this you know uh, iris scanner they have this built-in infrared sensor that means they can work completely on the complete dark situation because they just emulate the IR sensor for example the Galaxy S8 in case of Face ID of Apple they are a dedicated hardware so they can work completely in the low light but the face unlock on the OnePlus ID uh, doesn't work on the complete low light because you know there's too much dark uh, the front camera just cannot read your face because you know low light improvement needed so assistive lighting means you know once you try to press your power button it will may it may slightly you know uh, improve the brightness of the uh, screen then uh, you may definitely the phone will definitely see your face much clearly and the face unlock should work we'll verify that next is improvement for the wi-fi display and uh, i cannot show you because i don't have a device to connect with the wi-fi display thing next is updated security patch to december so oneplus 5 audio update brings december 1 security patch work. so you should be getting something that now guys something i want to show you very very cool stuff regarding this face unlock so let's take a look first now Galaxy S8, uh, S8 Plus Note 8, they got the iris scanner. That means they need your iris. They don't need your other facial data, like they don't care about the nose, uh, whether you try to fool or not. So they, just, they just need your iris. And if I just try here, it just worked great. And if I show you guys here, and by showing me my, covering my face, it is uh, done. Now, this one iris, it just worked because you know, up to that part, uh, this phone can see my iris, that is these two eyes, and it will just work, trying again, so, it just worked great. Now, coming to the OnePlus 5T, uh, they got this face unlock, that means they need your complete face, not just the part of the, you know, iris stuff, so, before I show you, if I uh, try to unlock my face in that way, or if I try to unlock like that, like that so oneplus 5t face unlock should not work face unlock it need face not part of the face so first i will show you this is working perfectly so this is phone it works in, it works for great and that is the uh, face unlock setting show you guys one more time it is working fine now i'm just going to cover part of the face see what it is working around up to here see i am not showing you my lips great trying one more time working great so i guess that is uh, 40 percent of the uh, my face this is 45 to 40 if i just move slightly ahead up to my nose see whether it is working or not see it is working up to the it's not working right see it is working so OnePlus, can you answer this question why it is like that why face unlock is working in such a way you know if i am trying to show my half of the face so you guys can uh, share this video to the kalpai or maybe OnePlus. maybe they can answer i will try to tweet to them anyway guys uh, trying again 
C C working great and uh, here it is works see trying with other object this uh, this one phone is locked working so I guess it just trying to you know uh, we we know that it is it is not like the face ID on the Apple which needs complete you know uh, this dots projections on the screen thirty thousand dots something but at least it should recognize complete face not the half of the face like that see so guys uh, that's about the change log now I'm quickly going to update it then we will see we will verify this camera quality for the front and what is this assistive face unlock two things otherwise third party cam camera application they should work faster okay guys so device is updated this is the uh, settings about phone section and here it is the bill number is 4.7.6 oxy noise and you got the december 1 security patch table and the same like you have the oneplus 5 android audio now next change is on the expanded screenshot improvement so i would say that this is an error so okay and as of now the oneplus 5t is running on the 4.7.5 on this screenshot section video and as you can see i'm getting such kind of error so it is a strange sometime i am seeing this kind of error same time it is just taking single screenshot but mostly i'm getting this kind of error so i i thought it could be error with my temper glass but uh, it is kind of surprising suddenly it happened so anyway just for just to make sure on the cross checks like it could be issue with os or something at all and here it is it should work like that so this is the same page i tried the one plus five this is one plus five t forum page so it should work like that and uh, once you just touch anywhere it will take a complete JPEG image very very nice thing now once I updated my device so this one as you can see I'm just going to try the same on the same page again so here it is working fine so quickly forwarding it now trying the same on the oneplus 5t with the 4.7.6 so as you can see now it is working okay so company should have to set like that you know a fix the error with the expanded screenshot but they just mentioned like the improvement so let me know whether you got the same kind of problem or not but for me it is like that now next we have on the clarity improvement for the selfie camera so th these are the couple of photos i have taken 4.7.5 versus 4.7.6 so definitely you can see that uh, uh, there is a slight improvement you can see the photos are a little bit more brighter compared to what you have seen the old on the 4.7.5 next we have assistive lighting for the face unlock so this is the setting you will get on the face unlock thing now i'm going to show you guys a quick dark light test so let's do this test for the face unlocking in the complete dark room so that is your face unlock setting right now you can see i'm just making complete dark situation so right now i have just turned on off this face unlock assistive lighting that means it should work here and make sure to reduce the brightness too much because you know otherwise it won't work so here it is i'm going to try it is not working as you can see it's just not working from the same spot now what i'm going to do is to uh, turn on this feature face unlock assistive lighting so right here you can see uh, increasing the brightness so uh, that setting is turned on reducing the brightness again and even it does work in case you have this you know adaptive brightness turned on for example this one is turned on so anyway i'm just turning that off okay so let's try to unlock it so three two one you can see now you see a flash of white light so that is what is called is a assistive lighting so it's like you know selfie flash you got this feature and if I just turn on this adaptive brightness see by itself so it's okay if you have adaptive brightness turned on so now let's see a couple of the benchmarking scores what we got because there was some stability improvement on the system side so the, these are the old score 183 on the 4.7.5 when it started and we should be uh, about to complete it here 182k so i would say that it's kind of same what you have seen in the early one it's not a huge difference and speaking of the geek benchmark here it is starting the geek benchmark test i'll show you guys the old scores later so we are about to get the results and these are old one versus the new one so pretty much same nothing change at all so guys here it is these are the major changes not showing you the small ones like you know third party application that should be okay for them but be sure to check this one plus 5t issue with yourself also that i've shown you and hope you get it enjoyed it and stay tuned to the channel for further update for 41 plus devices this is sort of i'll catch you very soon have a great day